What's going on everybody? I'm Harrison. Welcome back to Garage 36. Today we're going to be talking about my brand new Diamondback DB10. This one's in 6.5 Creedmoor and I'm just happy to have this gun. I've been trying to get this thing since probably March of 2020 and you just couldn't get them. Obviously with the pandemic going around, guns and ammunition is very hard to come by. So luckily found this one on gunbroker.com actually. And I wasn't even gonna mess around with doing a bid. So I just did the buy it now function and got this thing shipped to the house as quick as I could. Was a little bit worried about getting it. It was stuck at the post office for about 18 days. But luckily we got it in hand and this thing is a blast to shoot. So I'm gonna kinda go over a couple things that I've done to it, including the scope and the bipod and things like that. So obviously when you get a gun, you need some type of optic. So I got the Vortex Diamondback 6 to 24 by 50 optic. And I gotta say this thing is really sweet. Bigger zoom range than I've ever had and probably a little bit overkill, but I'd like to get into some long range stuff. So for that, it should be perfect. I didn't mean to get a Diamondback version with the Diamondback gun, but that just kind of worked out. So looks cool. Looks like it was uh, came that way from the factory. After that, I went with the Harris bipod. I saw some of the other ones that were on the market, but I did like this one with the springs. I just kind of like the look of this one and it's got the quick release foothold so you can adjust the height. I put the Picatinny rail section on the front. That way you can use this Harris bipod. You don't have to use the uh, old school sling style strap for this bipod mount. So that's really slick, goes up and down real easy. The gun came with two magazines, came with a 20 round P-Mag and then a 10 round metal magazine. I think the metal magazine works pretty good for, uh, for what I'm doing. I'm not usually shooting this thing necessarily 20 rounds at a time right now. The ammunition for this gun's about $2 a round at the moment. So don't think I'll be just spraying 20 rounds off anytime soon. I'm gonna be a little bit more finesse in each shot and take putt time with it. Along with that, you've got the collapsible stock. So this one's pretty cool. Got the trigger and you can actually lock it in place. Comes with a little storage unit in the back. I'm not sure I'd ever really use that, but it's kind of a cool option. And then obviously to mount the optic, I went with a Vortex cantilever style mount. And this thing works good. It's super easy to install. Everything with this Picatinny rail system is really easy and a lot easier to deal with than some of the standard bolt action stuff I've done. So overall, really liking how it's shooting. The recoil on this gun is almost non-existent. Obviously being semi-auto has to do a lot with that, but the big muzzle brake on the front really helps with the recoil as well. This thing is a blast to shoot and you're not gonna blow your shoulder out shooting it a lot. The trigger on this gun is a two and a half pound CMC drop-in single stage trigger. And I really, really like this trigger. The, the flat face trigger is really nice. Got a nice pull to it. The lightness of the trigger is keeping me from pulling it one way or the other and helping me make it where I can surprise myself on the shot. Obviously the gun is in black. They do a tan and a bronze colored Cerakote for this gun, but the black was the only thing I could find available. So eventually down the road, we'll do a custom Cerakote in this gun. But overall, a super, super fun gun to shoot. Like I said, the recoil is just amazing and I'd like to really stretch it out to some long range stuff here type soon. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time.